What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to My Wild Life. We are here at the Everglades Outpost in the Big Snake Room, which is soon to be turned into a big display room for you guys want to come see the snakes up close. Now, today is very special. We have an unboxing we're going to do in this nice and comfy little container. There's a large rattlesnake that was shipped to me from a very experienced, well-educated snake keeper. His name's Jesse Black. He's been breeding and keeping king cobras in many different species from around the world. He's a very educated man. And he actually sent me this rattlesnake quite recently and he warned me to be very careful when opening it. He says you need two hooks because it's very aggressive. Don't try to tail it. Uh, very excited because he says it's upwards to six feet long. So it's pretty large. It's actually pretty heavy too so it's gonna be pretty interesting unboxing this guy we're gonna do that near the end of the video right now I need to feed these Bushmasters because as you guys know I had to treat them for mites so they had to take a break from food and now it's time to give them a little something to chew on so these are some warmed up rat crawlers or rat pups frozen pod we're gonna start with the male he's right here see if he wants to eat I'm sure he does Hello. Hello, Mr. Bushmaster. There we go. Yeah, he's pretty hungry. <laughs> he just shot right out, stuck his fangs right into the abdomen. And he's injecting all that venom inside. Look, he's squeezing so tight, the skin around his face folds. Beautiful male Bushmaster. He's going to start chewing on that. You already see his fangs moving. He's making sure he kills that rat, even though it's pretty dead. All right, so I'm going to leave it just like that. He's gonna start chewing down on that rat. Now we're gonna feed the female. I'm gonna keep that unlocked because we're gonna check on him in a second. All right, let's see, the female's in that hide box right there. I'm sure she's starving. She's gonna get a little bit larger of a rat crawler. Get all that water off. Let's see what she's doing. You in there? You interested? You coming? Oh! That was fast. Look how much bigger her head is. She just folded that thing like a taco. Awesome. I'm actually going to leave the hide just like that so you guys can watch her eat. Because she's pretty quick on working on that rat. The male, he's still holding on to it, trying to inject venom into it. Whereas the female knows that that's food and she's going to start chewing down real quick. It seems like the females are always smarter in every species. Mm -hmm. Comment below. What do you think? No, I'm kidding. Don't come up with No, 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 no. What, what are you shaking your head for? You, you just film, okay? Sassy. Okay, so I'm going to leave the hide up so we can go back and check out the Bushmaster as she swallows her food and as the male swallows the food. Look at that. Look at the blood coming out of the, the puncture holes. That is no joke. You would not want to get tagged by one of these guys. It would be a nasty bite. Literally, if you get bit by a Bushmaster, they have such a large venom yield that they can mummify that limb if you can still have it. If it doesn't get amputated, that limb gets necrotic, all the flesh starts to dehydrate, and all you have is a dried up bone. There's literally a man who was bitten, and his whole entire arm was like mummified. It was nasty. He was able to keep the arm, but the arm was almost useless. The only thing he'd use the arm for is to actually put a snake hook in between his armpit and hold it. So his arm became just a snake hook holder. So you don't want to get bit by one where your arm will become a snake hook holder. You can't even use it. Try to use a snake hook like this. It doesn't work. Oh, the male is starting to readjust, realizing it's some nice, tasty food. He's doing really good. So far, I do not see any mites. It seems like the treatment went pretty well. But we're going to still keep a close eye and look at the water bowl and make sure there's no mites falling in there and drowning. Oh, look, there's the female. She's chewing her fangs and she's readjusting it. She's moving more towards the buttocks because she favors that a little bit more. Beautiful. French Guyana Muda. Beautiful Bushmasters. Okay, so. You guys all came here for one specific reason, and that is to see this unboxing. So what I'm going to do is bring the box over here. As you guys know, I put Justina in a six foot, oh, thank you very much. I actually have a selection of hooks I set up right here. I have the double hook right here, so it adds extra support, because I was told this is a large body rattlesnake. Although it's dangerous, it is fragile, we want to be careful with it. I have a python hook. Not sure if I'll need it. Also, it's a bit short, so uh, we'll see what happens. It's just there, just in case. Then I have another hook right here if I have the double hook, which I was told might be the case. So I have my tools right here. We've got the box right here. What's really interesting is 
how such large snakes can fit in such small areas. For example, Kevin is like 15 feet long. He's a huge king cobra, but he disappears in a box that big. So, I'm excited. It's kind of a big mystery. I've only seen photos of this rattlesnake. I have not seen it in person once. It came from Texas, from Jesse Black, who's an awesome snake keeper. And he's literally done the most amazing things with King Cobras. I, I'm going to be taking tips from him in the future because he's done what I want to do. Building big walking enclosures for King Cobras and setting it up. So it goes through seasons just like out in the wild with different misting, automatic misters to simulate monsoons and whatnot. Especially set up enclosures to make them feel like they're out in the wild. But today, we're focusing on the rattlesnakes. There we go, there we go. And you know what they say, everything's bigger in Texas. So, we'll see how big this rattlesnake really is in a second. Okay, zip ties are off. It should be double bag, but always to make sure you use a hook. Because you never know what can happen. The rattlesnake should be concealed in all this paper so it stays nice and toasty. There we go. We have a bag right there. Let me grab these tongs. Some nice grabbers. So it's zip tied multiple times so I can easily grab the cloth that doesn't have the rattlesnake leafed up in it. Safely. Oh my goodness, that is a heavy snake. Okay, it, it's very well that this thing could be around six feet long. It's definitely heavy. Let me put it back down right like this. Let's see if I can tilt it a little bit. There we go, there we go, there we go. And the technique I'm going to use is a very old school technique. And it works perfect. You just put it down right there, put that hook or tongs down right there. Keep pressure on the bag where the snake is being held. And it gives me the opportunity to safely come over here Pull that bag nice and tight, and I can work on opening up without exposing myself to getting bit through the bag, because a lot of venice handlers end up getting bit through the bag while well, unbagging or unboxing venomous reptiles. Very exciting stuff. This rattlesnake it hasn't rattled once, but I'm sure it's just tired of traveling. It's in a dark area. It's trying not to give away its position. There we go. Okay. I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way so I have plenty of room to work with this rattlesnake because if it's around six feet long, it's got a huge strike range, putting myself in a little bit of danger. Nothing new to the chain. And then put the knife in line because we always want to be safe. I'm going to grab the bag right here by the corner. Let me just add that the cage is already set up for the rattlesnake to go into. Perfect! It's double bagged! Legal requirement when shooting venomous reptiles. But always want to take caution when undoing the bag. Alright, this is the final. Oh my god, I can see the scalation pushing through the bag. I can actually see his head right there. I can see the texture of his skin. And he has a rattle. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting pressure on the bag, keeping it away from me. I'm going to cut the rest of these zip ties. There we go. There we go. And I was told this is a very cantankerous rattlesnake, so we're about to find out. All right, let's do this. Get a fold of the corner. This is a real pain in the butt. <laughs> Here he is, look. Look at this. Woo! That is a good sized Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. And he's, holy smokes, he's definitely around five, six feet long. That's a big snake. Look at this. During the process of traveling, he actually broke off part of his rattle. It's right here. But let me put the rattle down. Let's focus on handling him. Let's see how he is. Don't go in the corner of that door right there, buddy. So far, he's pretty laid back. Relax, relax, oh, 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 relax, relax. Relax, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. 
okay, okay, let's see. Boom, there you go. Mexican West Coast Rattlesnake, definitely pushing over five feet long, potentially six feet. He is a giant, he's healthy, he is beautiful. Look at that, beautiful white scalation, very calm. He's not cold, but he's slightly cool to the touch, so he's not fired up like he would be right out of the enclosure. It seems like we're doing good so far. He's freaking out just a little bit. Relax, it's okay, it's okay. Relax, try and hook him, make him feel comfortable. Look at that. Huge Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. That is a beautiful animal. What a beast of a snake. I hope the camera's picking up how large this snake is. Incredible. And this animal will be on display for the public to see. So you can see in person how big the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake really is. Look at that. Beast of a rattlesnake. All right, I'm gonna put him right back, or I'm gonna put him right into the quarantine enclosure. So one last good look at that huge rattlesnake. Beast of a snake. All right into there. Look at that. The rattle's a little bit broken, but I wanna keep him from rattling. He can still make some noise, so he's not too upset. He's not going off crazy right now. See his head's right back there. We're gonna lock this up. There we go. A huge Mexican West Coast rattlesnake, new to the facility, going to be on display for the public so you guys can see this guy up close and be able to see him really, really in depth in person, see his scalation, see the beautiful colors. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, come down to the Everglades Outpost, check out the wildlife, and very soon you guys will be able to check out all the venomous reptiles that I have here to put on display. So I'll see you on the next one. Don't get bit.